What is going on guys and welcome to episode number 50 of Career Mode. Oh my god. Yeah, wow, I've never done that before. Um, yeah, episode number 50 of Career Mode, man. Um, it's crazy. We're making so much progress in this series and I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Um, it's awesome because, you know, obviously after the last manager mode failed, um, I was thinking to myself, oh, I'm never going to get the spark back in career mode ever again. Yeah, I'm just so enjoying this series, man. It's awesome. I'm sure you guys are as well. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, we take on Manchester United in the first game of the episode. And it is a Europa League round of 16 clash. And unfortunately for us, Shinji Kagawa takes the lead for Manchester United here. And I was thinking to myself, man, this is not good because we do want to get an away goal and do need to sort ourselves out and make sure we don't concede too many goals here at Old Trafford. So we set up for the second leg at Anfield. But uh, John Taylor, who has been a great signing, skips past Phil Jones here, goes through one on one, cuts the ball back to Gonalons, and just typical my luck is an open goal. Yeah, I still couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. It was blocked, it went wide. <coughs> <coughs> I just coughed, and uh, Joe Allen swings the corner in, it's headed up in the air, Skirtle, his header is well saved by Linda Gar, but it comes all the way out to Jan and Villa, and what a great strike by my French holding midfielder, formerly of Stade Rene, that's a great strike by Jan and Villa on the half volley, and uh, that made it 1-1, so we did get the away goal we were looking for. And it was a great strike by Jan and V. It really was. I, I got to be honest, I wasn't expecting it to even get on target. It was his weaker foot and it was outside the area and it was bouncing. And there was loads of bodies in the way, but somehow he managed to squeeze it past Lindegaard, who for some reason like is playing all the time. There's no De Gea anymore. But I mean you can see why there, what a great save. But uh yeah, one one the final score. Yeah, De Gea hasn't played at all in this series. I might try and pick him up in the summer if he's on the bench. Anyway, 1-1 uh, the final score, so I was really pleased to get an away goal. Um, obviously, it would have been nice to get a win, but it would have been a very, very difficult ask. But uh, to get a uh, an away goal and to not lose the first leg is really important for us. But uh, the following game was against Newcastle in the FA Cup. And uh, I obviously rested a lot of my players because the fixture congestion was crazy. But uh, Newcastle obviously decided we beat in the Capital One Cup final, so they're out for revenge. And in the 21st minute, they did just that. Andy King, the former Leicester midfielder, with the header but um, like I said before you know playing out from the back you're gonna see two examples in this game um, this one here this is just really nice precise passing Suzo picks the ball up skips past his man with a roulette plays the ball through to Jordan Henderson who goes down the right hand side former Sunderland man so Newcastle wouldn't have been too pleased he was allowed that much room to cross the ball in and Andy Carroll the former Newcastle player gets his head to the ball silences the crowd it's 1-1 and I was delighted when John Joe Shelby won the ball back here and found Jordan Henderson who, who was awesome in this game he was a great playmaker uh, he found Raheem Sterling who found Carroll Carroll played the ball to Sterling and Sterling he has got the composure of Thierry Henry cuts inside and <laughs> such a tight angle yeah he made it look so easy finesses it in off the uh, far post the inside of the far post to make it 2-1 to Liverpool St James's Park was silent after such a great start they were now behind at half time but unfortunately for us we have just quarter an hour to go Andy King played the ball to Denver Bar here. Reese Bennett got the wrong side of Bar and the Senegalese striker smashed the ball past Gazaniga. But unfortunately, as good as I am for playing out from the back sometimes, sometimes I make too many mistakes. And Sebastian Quartes' ball here to Reese Bennett is really poor. I tried to play it back to Quartes, completely fucked up. It came to Denver Bar. I was pulling the shirt, I was just doing everything I can to make sure he didn't get a balance shot in. He was off balance, which is why Gazaniga saved it, but unfortunately there was too much shirt pulling. The referee called for a penalty, Denver Bar stood up, and this is just my luck, I mean, come on, Gazanika makes the save, it balloons up in the air and goes into the other side of the goal, I mean, nothing works out for me, man, that was just ridiculous, but uh, two goals from Denver Bar later on, I mean, Newcastle knock us out of the FA Cup, and the cup run under there, so I'm, I'm disappointed, Newcastle get their revenge, but... Um, yeah, that was just ridiculous, man. I mean, it was my fault for, you know, I shouldn't have gave the penalty away in the first place. It was my poor defending, but uh, just my luck. I dived the right way for once on a penalty, and the keeper saves it, and it goes up in the air and comes down over the line. But uh, the next game was back in the Europa League second leg against Manchester United. And unfortunately for us, Manchester United, who didn't play amazing at Old Trafford, seems to step up their game here at Anfield. And in 10 minutes, Danny Welbeck picks up the ball here, chips the ball to Robin Van Persie, rain a doesn't really make the best of saves. It comes to Antonio Valencia and the Ecuador winger makes it 1-0 to Manchester United and I was thinking man we have got to sort this out right now because 
Our away goal now means nothing. But when Van Persie picked the ball up here, Skirtle played it all the way out to Gon Lons, but it was an awful pass by Skirtle. The ball eventually goes up in the air. It comes to Ashley Young. He finds the, uh, Darren Fletcher. I almost said Stephen Fletcher there. Darren Fletcher. He found Van Persie. Van Persie found Young. And Ashley Young made it 2 0 to Manchester United. And at this stage, we all were we were as good as out, man. It just was not working for us. This was Van Persie playing it to Welbeck. Welbeck who found Ashley Young. Young almost made it 3 0 here with a shot just after the hour mark, but put the ball just just wide the post but we were pressing for that um, at that uh, goal that would get us back into the game but at this rate there was no way I mean we had five minutes left six minutes sorry six minutes left we had to score at least three goals because of the away goal rule and it just wasn't working for us this was Jordan Slew here down the right hand side picks the ball up manages to get past Johnny Evans and uh, Alex Butner and uh, loses the ball it comes back to Yanis Belhanda he plays the ball out wide to Maxime Gonalons who cuts inside Raphael smashes the ball in but unfortunately Unfortunately, it's uh, a double whammy. It's a double whammy. We're out of the FA Cup. We're now out of the Europa League. It's very hurtful, but we have won the Capital One Cup. We're not going to win anything else this season. And our now um, our primary focus is getting up the league table and qualifying for the Champions League. It's a hard ask, but now we've got no other trophies to worry about. We've got a better chance. But as always, guys, a big thank you for watching. And I'll see you for the next episode, which will be coming out to you very soon.